Today we are bringing to you viewers the Solution Phone City most current update of the site. And this is the uh, Enugu on Echa Expressway, you know, it's very close to Pata Flyover. And earlier on, I've uh, made some kind of uh, suggestion concerning the entrance of this phone city. And I'm going to still say it again in this video. But let's get closer to the area I am talking about. See, the flyover is very close to this uh, entrance. Immediately, you are dropping from the flyover. That is the entrance gate. And like I said, some people might make mistake of not knowing the exact location. And they will go and fly the water area. Upon flying to enter here will be very difficult because vehicles might be coming from um, the down road which is not good for vehicles to be stopping or go moving slow on the expressway. So you see this area now like I said they need to carve out a little road here to align with uh, that uh, water down road you see this area now they need to you know carve out a road here i don't know how they are going to do it but there is need so that to save vehicles that are you know coming out from that down road from quarter and those that are using the flyover and you know this area is the headquarter of uh, one way sometimes yes i do see them one way they will be flowing here one way you know going into that water axis well um okay let's take a look at the contract uh, details construction of access road and parking lot at solution fund city or car south local government and umbra state so like I said, this is the area they need to carve out a road from here to give room for vehicles that are coming out from this phone city and the ones that wants to enter a site so that they can have spaces where they can you know, slow down a bit before entering. Well, that is just about safety, you know, and that is what we noticed concerning this uh, entrance and the exit of uh, the solution for city that is under construction where well, the face of the road is coming out gradually now you can see that um, it's having a laterite base or should i call it sand base you know the sand looks like a mixture of uh, sharp sand and uh, laterite that is the nature of this sand and uh, it also serves like uh, normal sand because it doesn't sink easily like that it is uh, as if it's well compacted so this is the uh, usual drainage you know we are standing on top of um, culvert that culvert that was under construction here it is now covered completely covered and uh, we are now on top of it crossing over to the other side why the drainage construction is still ongoing so but we are moving inside we want to take a detailed look of uh, the update concerning this place this is the channel water channel that is being reconstructed and rechanneled to give space for the road and other construction within this place where well, they need to speed up with the construction because of the uh, rains you know i know some of these contractors they will usually want to take rain for exquisite spots people that knows what they are doing don't regard the rain But from what we are seeing here, they need to be fast on the drainage. It's not just about rain, ordinary rain, but the drainage, the flood uses it. So that is another important point 
for them to speed up with the construction of the drainage and uh, honestly we've been coming here and uh, i know how long they've started uh, constructing that drainage so by now they ought to have gone far in that regards so but well they cannot perform more than their strength that is the point but the kind of flood that uses that gutter that drainage is something else so is one of the reasons they have to be very fast if possible take more laborers or workers to that place so that is the point so this is the entrance gate the security gate is about three in number one two three on the other side and from the structure of the building is going to be upstairs i can see rod can see rod and the pillars that are springing up so it's not going to be less than one story security house building so but um on a general note that's my own personal opinion the construction is a bit slow it's supposed to be above this by now as a, my own personal opinion, I don't know what you think, you viewers, about the construction. And uh, another thing is to know what is making the construction to be slow. Because it's not just blaming the contractor that the work is slow. Meanwhile, uh, it could be another angle of a problem that is causing the work to get slow. So now the access road you can see is now coming out very fast. The upside has already stone base on them. So but it's just this downside that uh, they've just applied laterite and uh, very soon they are going to apply the stone base from the look of things and it will be followed with the uh, asphalt well uh, when i came here initially i thought that uh, there could be flood control issues here but when I looked at it critically, I can see that uh, the blockings of this um, gutters with sand and uh, um, some issues up there is what is uh, causing the flood to jump over to the other side. You know, this access road will carry a lot of water from that upside coming down towards this place so anything that is uh, blocking it is going to react negatively so this one you can see is just they use sand to block the gutter so that the machines can cross over without destroying anything so that's why the water is there Well, uh, we want to move over to the other area that the building construction is going on. This place used to be swamp, but uh, they have now filled it with sands. And uh, the sand is quite um, a mixture of good one because if you are working on it, it doesn't sink. But it looks as if uh, it's going to sink, but it doesn't, even if it's wet. Well, uh, that is by the way we are going to the building construction here. But 
let's go closer so we can see the construction and have a detailed look of what is going on there concerning that uh, building Yes, I can see that the foundation of this building is completed. The foundation and the DPC German floor is now completed. Where the type of uh, um, foundation they did here, <laughs> in fact, it is very solid. I don't know if the building is in fact, it's an everlasting building because the kind of foundation they did here and there, they weren't rushing the work. They just took their time gradually. Rocks, they use rocks to fill in these places. You can see the, the parts, the area that is yet to be completed. Honestly, they took their time to get this place in order, even though um, some, some would have passed this stage anyway, but it's better to be solid than not. So you can see the foundation. Because of the swampy area of this place, they have to get the strength of this place 100% of the building there's the strength of the building has to be 100% water prevention this waterproof you are seeing now is to prevent water from soaking from the ground you know because this place is swampy that one they needed it 100% also so this foundation is in fact you will confirm that is a very solid uh, foundation that they have laid here. See the rocks, they use rocks to fill in the foundation and they use sharp sand to cover it before applying the German floor. All these areas are the water channel area and uh, these places they have to open it to to connect with uh, the other side but because of the rains hmm, that's what i'm talking about the rain so it's just few days or weeks that they have to finish up this place if not Rains will not allow them to do anything on this place. Let's go closer to the other side so we can see what the rains have done already. Though they are trying their best, after the rains they will try as much as possible to get some areas concreted. So look at this place now, you can see can see the 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 flaws as in the the neglect of waste management system in our place this is the effect you can see bad waste management you can see where the thing came and dumped the whole waste causing havoc to these uh, people that is doing this job where are they going to start now removing all these things 
so that they can get their job done. To remove this debris here is a very big job and uh, where they are used to it, I think they know what to do. But to an outsiders like all those ordinary people that are not construction engineers or civil engineers, we look at it as a very big thing, but them I think they know what to do. Yes, the foundation is almost done and uh, we are going to move up towards um, the other side because I know that work is going on there just like every other place. So we are moving up there. We want to see the level of work done on that axis of this uh, fun city. So as we can see now, this part of the road has stone base. They have been waiting for the other side towards the expressway to be completed before they will apply the stone base. And then uh, we are moving front. We want to see how that up looks like. Well, this side is for areas that uh, probably for parking space and the uh, swimming pool. I know that the swimming pool is somewhere here. But they are yet to start work on the swimming pool. You know, according to the contract uh, details in front of the entrance of this fun city, it reads that uh, construction of access roads and uh, parking lots. So this is the access road and the parking lots are both left and right along uh, these places area is the area of a uh, swimming pool and then uh, the parking lots also some places there have been marked you can see specs at some certain places but let's uh, move towards there we want to even have a look at the drainage there the water channel there you want to see what's going on towards that edge. Another peg and uh, some other pegs there too. So signifying that uh, work will soon start there. Probably we can see the Latrite base that have been well applied and newly applied. So, work will soon start there. By the time the work start there, we will know what is being under construction. So, you can see the drainage here, the partition under construction. Well, um, they are doing according to their own capacity. If not, would have run that plank that uh, covering to a reasonable distance and then uh, pour concrete to make it to be faster but they are doing according to their own capacity 
Well, this is the level of the drainage work here, but you know that uh, the work was coming from um, up there, you know, from where it joined the old one, from up there, that's where it's coming from, you know, dropping down towards the express place, but they still have a very long way to go, a very long way to go along uh, this drainage system and the drainage is quite lengthy it's quite lengthy i tell you but uh, if i should estimate the length of that drainage it should be about one kilometer that's uh, the one kilometer neighborhood it could be a little above or it could be a little below that is my personal estimate of that uh, water channel. Well, uh, we are going to move towards uh, the other side of Ibuibike uh, entrance. We want to see what the place is looking like, the building construction going on there, how far they have gone on that place. So this side for sure is uh, another parking lot, you know, um, and this side too, but this side the face has not come out completely so that we'll be sure what and what is going to be here. So this is uh, the access road and uh, it terminates somewhere here. No, it, it bent. It bent towards left and continued because up there, there are other buildings that will be up there. The contract details we saw at the entrance is just for the access road and parking lots. But the one for the buildings and other ones, the details is on the other side of the the entrance as the WPK site. There is a detail there about these constructions and there is being handled by different construction company. The ones handling this one is uh, ZCC, the people that constructed ICC in Oka. And the, the last building that we saw before coming here is being done by DSS. GSS, sorry, GSS Construction Company. So, and the access road is by FCC. So, these are the contractors I know that are working here. FCC is the one that constructed Portacot Road in Onicha. So, they are the ones doing this uh, access road. So gradually this building is coming up, uh, the partitioning has been established and um, it looks like a, a work that has not been under pressure to be completed. So they are just doing it gradually, gradually.
so from here now you can see the continuation of this uh, access road towards the other side and uh, we want to move at the back of this building and uh, you know there is a big uh, hole or something they dig up here don't know what is going on here probably well uh, later we'll find out what is here it looks like uh, uh, mini swimming pool i don't know don't know actually well that is by the way we will find out when the time comes you know the face will come out and we will see what they are doing there so this is the back view of the building that is under construction so at this back here there is uh, about two buildings here and another one towards the gate side so about this one's um, well as usual they've been very slow in the construction of these ones don't know whether it's positive or fond or whatever don't know what is holding them so but for sure work is being done on the site well if you have not subscribed to younger life channel please click on the subscription button the notification bell like this video and please don't forget to share this video share it for others and then share it in other groups social media groups so that uh, people can watch and um, you know know what is happening within their environment well um don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section because that is where we hear what you think about uh, the video that we have shown to you thank you So this side now is the other part, is the other section of the building that we entered earlier. So this side is yet to be completed. The foundation and the German floor is yet to be completed this side, but I know that soon they are going to be done with it. So that is the side that they are yet to be completed and uh, you can see they even use double blocks here probably they must have filled the holes with the uh, concrete i don't know well um, is to give the building a very solid foundation and uh, you know to make it uh, stronger so i guess that is the reason So this is the front view of the building, quite a big one, 
it's quite a huge building and uh, from the look of things it's going to be an upstairs so this is the access road from where we entered this place Well, uh, um, uh, people that are asking me what about the expansion of the stadium, you can see the stadium now and uh, no extension is going on here for now. I don't know in future the government might decide to expand it and uh, give it more um, um, stands, you know. Because this place needs more stand, the stadium. We are looking at it from there. There is no construction of extra stand there. So, but let's see how it goes. Everything cannot be done under one day. So, it is a gradual thing. Uh, gentlemen and ladies, I don't know if you notice something around this uh, vicinity. You can see the springing of uh, fresh roofs. There are fresh roofs that are springing up around this uh, fun city. You know, it signifies that uh, more buildings are coming up, though the area has been developed. But uh, I just noticed it that more and more buildings are coming up in a very fast uh, way uh, around this place. Well, that is just an observation and um, you know, uh, you that is watching the video, you might not see it very well, but being on ground, you can be able to notice it and see it uh, very, very clear that uh, fresh buildings are coming up around this place. So in a very short period of time, I see this road to be completed. But honestly speaking, government authorities, they need to consider that thing, that observation that I made earlier while I was starting this video along that uh, expressway. That thing has to be looked into. You know, even if it's not creating a complete lane there they should know what to do to cover out some space you know to give room for vehicles to have you know a little delays and uh, some uh, abnormalities before entering the major road because this place is an express or while coming in has to give room for that so that um, the usual or unusual accident will not uh, have reasons to occur in front of that place. That is an express where uh, there are fast moving vehicles, you know, along that place. 
I believe that I have explained myself very well and what I have said is well understood. So I still look forward for consideration concerning this thing I have said or we'll wait and see how it works. Bye.